Learning what works in Fortnite can be difficult to find by yourself. So here are 30 tips to help you improve in Fortnite. Before we hop into the video, let me thank you guys for being here. And you're going to want to watch to the end because this video will improve your skill by a lot. Starting off with tip number one, which is to change your settings to performance mode. Performance mode makes your graphic lower, but your FPS higher. This is essential if you want to get good FPS and be able to play better. Without this, it will be hard to aim and build because your game isn't smooth enough. To do this, just go to settings and go to display and then click performance mode. Tip number two is to know the base HP for different materials. Wood spawns with 90 HP, brick spawns with 99 HP, and metal spawns with over 100. So if you're getting sprayed, just place metal instead of any other material because it has the highest base HP and will be able to take the most hits. The total HP for wood is 150, the total HP for brick is 400, and metal has a total of 600 hit points. That brings us to tip number 3, which is to know what material to use and when. Wood is the weakest and easiest material to obtain, so the best time to use it is when you are rotating to the next zone. Brick is hard to see through when you place it around yourself, so the best time to use it is when you're on low ground so people cannot see you when it spray you from above. Last of all, metal has the highest hit points, so it is best to use when you finish rotating and have to wait for the next zone to appear. Tip number four is to learn different peaks. Peaks are essential to good mechanics, so you can shoot without getting shot back. There are many different kinds of peaks, but my favorite one is this one. The top right hand corner peak is the best one because if you have a roof above you and you jump up, you can shoot people and they only have a split second to react and shoot you back. You can also reset as soon as you shoot to guarantee that you don't get shot. Moving on to tip number 5, and that is to always take as many builds as possible in a fight. If you're in a build fight, taking space will give you a huge advantage. This works because you can likely force them into your builds later on in the fight, which will allow you to keep chasing them and kill them and win the fight. The easiest way you can do this is by building several boxes instead of one. This gives you more space if your box is getting sprayed. Tip number 6 is to make sure you have 200 health as much as possible. Having max HP is crucial to winning fights because you can take more damage. It sounds obvious, but the difference between having 175 HP and 200 HP can be fatal. Say someone has the mythic pump. If they headshot you when you have 175 HP, you will die. But if you use one more big pot and you have 200 HP, you will live. Even if it seems like a waste of heals, always use them because you never know if it could have saved your life. Jumping into tip number 7, and that is to know you can only jump a few times before you have little jumps. So when you're jumping and building, make sure you're aware of how many times you jump so you can change direction and stop jumping so you don't lose speed. I've died several times from making this mistake when I'll be jumping a lot and building up to my opponent. Then I'll lose speed by doing the little tiny jumps like the bunny hops and then eventually mess up, lose height, and die. Tip number 8 is to learn high ground retakes. High ground retakes are essential to learn if you want to be good at Fortnite and win more fights. High ground retakes allow you to get high ground without taking any damage whatsoever. It is also great in the end zones because you can use the same techniques to move to the next zone without taking damage. Tip number 9 is how to do high ground retakes. To do it, you need to be on a stair, then build four walls to either to your right or your left and in front of you, and then wrap them around so you can build a stair above you. Then from here, you can just edit out the front or do whatever from there. I like to modify the retake by going out the side like this. Tip number 10 is to learn tunneling and tarping. Tunneling is building boxes while moving to block shots while rotating to the next zone and moving around different places. You need to know this because if you're in a tournament and you don't do this, you will get shot and die. Many pros do this and it isn't too hard to learn. This technique usually only takes about 10 minutes to master. And that brings us into tip number 11, which is how to tarp and tunnel. Tarping and tunneling are about the same thing. To tarp, you have to build a floor above and below you, then build a wall to your right and your left. And then you have a tarp. If you go fast, it should look like this. To tunnel, all you have to do is do the same thing, but place a wall in front of you and, and edit out of it. This is useful if people are in front of you in the moving zones. Tip number 12 is to change your damage counter to list. Changing to list instead of cumulative is way better. Not only does it look way cleaner when you beam somebody, it also shows you exactly how much white damage you did to them. This makes it easier to see how much health they have left and allows you to know if you should push them or not. Before I changed to list, I was way less aware of my opponent's HP and I didn't know of how much white health they had left. Tip number 13 is that being fast does not mean you're good. Being fast won't give you good mechanics and focusing on speed isn't the best thing to do. Speed will come naturally as you play the game more often. I've played against many players who can edit and build super fast 
but they usually end up lacking in other more important categories. And what good is speed without consistency and good aim? People who are fast at building and editing usually also have bad awareness of their mats and opponents and they usually run out of mats and die. Tip number 14 is to know when to fight. This is a skill that comes from playing lots of ranked and battle royale. Knowing when to fight will keep you alive to the end game and improve your game sense. Before you take a fight, you need to consider these factors. And the factors are how much health you have, where the storm is, how many mats you have, and how many people are nearby, and if you benefit from this fight or not. Many people take fights randomly with no goal in mind and they often gain nothing from doing that fight. I only like to fight somebody if I need mats, if they have a medallion, or if it's the 1v1. Tip number 15 is to always warm up when you get on. Warming up allows your body a chance to get used to playing before you start ranked. If you don't warm up, you could die by making dumb mistakes that you usually don't make in the first place. There are many different warm-ups you can do, and it only takes about 10 minutes. If you skip warm-ups, you also miss out on any improvement you could have gotten from warming up. My favorite warm-up is starting on a mechanics map and then moving over to some speed realistics. This will get your edits and game sense warmed up. Tip number 16 is to learn pre-firing. Pre-firing is a great skill to learn. It is super useful in many scenarios in the game, specifically when your shield gets cracked and you need to get some more counter damage on your opponent. You can pre-fire them with your shotgun so they will have to back off and heal which will give you a chance to heal as well. The skill can be obtained by playing lots of box fights and shooting right before they break your wall so you can damage them. This skill will take lots of time to learn, but don't stop practicing it. Tip number 17 is to close all other tabs when playing Fortnite. This is super important because if you have 20 other tabs open, it will decrease your performance. Basically, if you have other tabs open, then your computer will not only have to focus on running Fortnite, but also have to focus on running your other tabs, which will make your FPS lower and your game will be way more laggy. Getting into tip number 18, which is to reload efficiently. If you reload at the wrong time, it could cost your life. Say you spray someone and when your mag runs out, they start building up. If you reload now, then they will get height and have the advantage. Another example is when your enemy is low and you use half of your mag to spray their wall and take it. If you reload now, they'll have a chance to get away, but if you keep pushing in, you can just get the kill now. Just always make sure you reload when your opponent isn't moving or pushing to you. Then you can use that time to reload. Tip number 19 is knowing that having a high rank doesn't make you good. Ranked is a great way to practice, but having a high rank doesn't necessarily make you good. Many people think since they are in champion or, or unreal, that they are the best. Then they play a tournament and don't do so well. That's because lots of people in Unreal camp to get there. So when you play ranked, don't just camp and play for placement, also take fights so that you can improve at the game. Ranked should be used as a tool for improvement and if you want me to show you how to use it as an improvement tool, then click the video in the top right hand corner. Tip number 20 is to watch pros play. Watching pros play can teach you things you wouldn't have learned on your own. It is a way you can learn what makes them play at a higher level than you and how you can get there too. As long as you pay attention to what they do, you will be able to improve. It can be tricky to see the differences between you and them, but you can find the differences by thinking about what you would do and then watching to see what they did and finding out how that worked. Hopping into tip number 21, and that is to take breaks in your gaming sessions. Playing 5 hours straight without any breaks is kind of brutal. That's why taking breaks is a good thing to do for your mental and physical health, and it can be a time to reflect on what you just did and learn from your mistakes. If you keep dying and ranked and get angry, that is a good time to take a break. Another good time to take a break is if your hands hurt from playing. Taking breaks has been proven to increase performance. That is why there are halftime breaks and timeouts in sports. Tip number 22 is to focus only on Fortnite while playing it. I know it sounds obvious, but many times you find yourself looking at your phone while in a match and thinking about other things. To help focus on Fortnite, you need to make sure you did everything else you knew you were supposed to do before doing Fortnite. That could be homework, chores, or cleaning. Then you won't feel bad for playing while knowing you shouldn't have been playing. You should also make sure you actually feel like playing Fortnite because if you don't feel like playing Fortnite, you will likely not improve during that session. Tip number 23 is to be calm while playing Fortnite. Being calm is proven to improve any aspects of what you're doing. If you get angry while playing, your emotions will influence your decisions, which leads to you doing dumb things and getting less consistent edits and shots. I stay calm by listening to music and singing songs while playing, but the easiest way to stay calm is just to breathe slowly and deeply. This will bring your heart rate down and allow you to focus. Just find something that helps you relax and try to do that to make Fortnite more enjoyable. Tip number 24 is to turn audio visual sound effects 
effects on. This is a major setting to have because it can double your spatial awareness and you'll be able to detect things otherwise undetectable. This setting puts different symbols for what your opponents are doing and tells you what direction they are in. This can tell you where they could be hiding or where they could be healing. This can help you make decisions that can change the course of your game. Tip number 25 is to have comfortable gear. Comfortable gear can change your whole gaming experience. Having good gear makes playing the game way better and will also improve your skill. An example of this is making sure you have good ear cushions on your headphones. A lot of people don't have this which can hurt your ears over time and make it uncomfortable to play. You can also make sure you have a good chair. A good chair isn't only comfy, but it can also improve your posture, which can have an impact on your daily life. Tip number 26 is knowing when to use your strengths. In a tournament, you want to play to your strengths the whole time. It doesn't matter if it seems cringe as long as you do well. If your strength is being able to use low ping to take walls, then do that every time. You shouldn't always play to your strengths though. When playing ranked and creative, you need to play to your weaknesses and what you're bad at so you can work on fixing them. This can greatly improve your skill as a gamer and if you do this, you will always improve when playing Fortnite. Tip number 27 is to grind lots of zone wars. Zone wars can improve almost every aspect of skill in the game. It makes you aware of the zone and your positioning on the map. It is essential if you want to get good at end games. And the way it works is by simulating what the end game is like and allows you to practice these skills you need to improve. I personally like Forever Zone Wars as a good practice map. Tip number 28 is to not make excuses. Making excuses hinders humans and everything in life. The truth is, no one cares if you have a bad PC or bad internet. Making excuses just allows you to play bad and not improve because you blame it on other things. Making excuses will just waste your time instead of doing something about your problem. Complaining won't get you anywhere and that is what you need to know to keep improving. Tip number 29 is to have a clean area. Having a cluttered workspace can also clutter your mind. Easy ways you can clean your area is by wiping your monitor down. Wiping it can remove spots of dust which will make it easier to see things in the game. Another thing you can do is declutter your desk. Doing this will give you plenty of space to play the game and move your mouse around. Having a clean workspace will make it easier to focus on Fortnite because you will have less distractions in your peripheral vision. And the last tip, tip number 30, is to subscribe to my channel. If you want to keep improving, then subscribe because I upload videos on how to improve every week and you don't want to miss out. Click the video on the screen if you want to learn how to prepare for tournaments. Jesus loves you and I hope you have an awesome day.